This is your daily Red Dead Online information video for Thursday, January 2nd, 2020. Howdy, Cowpoke, Austin, BMX here, and I got all your daily info for January 2nd, 2020. Again, I hope everyone is having a great new year. Uh, first up, we got Mab Nazar's location. She is down here at uh, Beecher's Hope area, uh, really close to Manzanita. And we got a burnt horse on the way in. Sounds good, guys. But if we take a look at the map real quick, see she's right up here in our good old spot in Beecher's Hope. Easy, fast travel spot for Manzanita. I know I said one of my favorite spots the other day was over by Armadillo because it's pretty close to that. But I think the ride from Manzanita to this spot is about the closest you can get. So that's a great spot there. If you're still looking for Mab Nazar's New Year's collection this week, you sure you got to have yourself a platinum pocket watch. We have been told those are usually looted pretty well from revenue agents, so make sure you're doing that with a Moonshiner roll. Uh, there's also a few spots that the community's talked about, and uh, Braithwaite, I believe, has one, so you might be able to find one there in the jewelry spot there. But you also need the Ace of Wands tarot card. That's going to be down here in Thieves Landing. Uh, it should be right here in this building, right above the G. Uh, it should be your Ace of Wands tarot card. And then for your Scotch Whiskey, it's going to be out in New Austin as well, way out in Ratskeller Fork. Ratskeller Fork should have your Scotch Whiskey in this building here. Also, while you're out there, make sure you're checking out the barn because there's all kinds of great horse items there as well. Make sure you're picking up those three items. If you can find yourself a Platinum Pocket Watch, get that sold over Mad Mazar for a quick money and some good XP. All right, looking at daily challenges today, not as easy as yesterday, but not too bad. We have Burdock Root picked. That can be found along the water quite a lot. I would suggest down around the Dakota River. That's our favorite spot. We have five perfect pelts sold to the butcher that is. We have three player kills in Deadeye and Freedom Events and three player kills with a rifle in Freedom Events. So, I mean, just get your rifle kills in Deadeye and you should get both of those done in a Freedom Event. We also have three posse races completed. If you guys need help with that and you're on PS4, make sure you're in the community. Maybe you guys can posse up and just start some races and get that completed for some easy gold. We have rooster skinned. Now, if animals are spawning, there is a rooster in the little farm just outside of roads. Possibly even uh, one maybe down on the grass as well. I don't know. Let us know in the comments your guys' favorite spot to find a rooster. But when animals don't spawn, it's going to be tough. Then for our last one for the general, we have wild fever few picked. This can be found just outside of Armadillo. That's where it's usually the best spot, right next to railroad tracks. You should be able to find some there. It does look a lot like carrots. I've had made that mistake as well. I killed myself? How did that happen? All right, so it's apparently we're finishing up this video hogtied, it looks like. But make sure you guys go down to Armadillo to get that wild fear with you. Not a problem there. For your rank 20 roll challenges, we have drink own moonshine. Uh, strong moonshine, that is. So it has to be your own. So I don't think it can be in your posse. So you might need to make your own and get that done. We also have moonshine served to other players at a bar. So just uh, get into your posse, get down to your shack and... Have some fun and serve each other there. And then we have Moonshine sold with five minutes left. Uh, apparently, this video is going to be a lot longer because the posse has uh, been uh, eating some sugar or something. I don't know what's their problem today. All right, make sure you guys are getting that Moonshine delivery sold quick. Usually, those are done pretty easy. You just need to do it with five minutes left. For traders today, you need to donate 20 carcasses within 10 minutes. I always suggest just loading your satchel up with small animals. Should be no problem there. We also have goods sold to local buyers twice. This one usually glitches out. If you do it once, then you should be all right. We also have large animal carcasses donated to Crips. Uh, I need six of those. So that's going to be some pretty big stuff there. Uh, for collectors today, we have collectibles collected times six. We also have collectibles found with a metal detector and collectibles found with a shovel. For bounty hunters today, we have bounty brought in from the West Elizabeth posters, bounty targets brought in in general, and one player bounty collected. Now, we're going to try to complete this with a posse and see if we can get one of our posse mates to get a high bounty and then jump out and see if we can get that to spawn because player bounties don't spawn very often. And when they do, sometimes they glitch out. Well, Calpoke, all the information we got for today, Thursday, January 2nd, 2020. Looks like it's going to be a tied up year. But if you like this video, make sure to smash the like button. If you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel for more Red Dead Online content, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, just good old fashioned fun. Hope to see you on the prairie sometime. But until then, see you later.